Have you been getting little strange annoying micro stutters whilst live streaming and playing games like Counter-Strike Global Offensive or just any title? Well, this setting might be the setting that changes your life. Welcome to the Gamer Muscle YouTube channel and uh, welcome to this quick tip video. So, we've got OBS. I'm sure you are familiar with OBS. I'm sure you've been using it, but the uh, little stutter stuff has been driving you mental. Well, after years of messing around, uh, changing graphic settings and not being able to work out what was causing the issue for me, it turns out that there's two tick bo tick ticks boxes. There's two tick boxes that you can tick in OBS that uh, rectified all my issues with uh, CSGO specifically, and also I believe has made my networking uh, smoother in general whilst live streaming, making uh, my, my ping more consistent in the various games I tend to play, mostly driving simulators, because that's how I like to roll. What is the setting? Let's get to it. The setting is located in the advanced tab in the settings panel, panel? <laughs> in the settings panel, and it's under network, you've got these two options, which will be unticked by default when you first install OBS. Tick the uh, enable new networking code and low latency mode, and click apply. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. My God, I can live stream and play CSGO at the same time. Now, this will actually fix the issue if you were streaming with a separate PC as well using an Elgato, because this is a networking issue. So it doesn't matter which PC on your network you're using to stream, uh, you need to have these ticked to make sure that OBS is not oversaturating your network or doing whatever it did that specifically uh, messes up uh, games that are very sensitive to, to network traffic. Now I would say as well, you will need to make sure that uh, if, if that setting doesn't work for you, you will also need to make sure that uh, you, you're, you're not using too many uh, bits, too many bits in your upload for your internet connection. And I would highly recommend that uh, if, if, for example, in my case, I'm using, I've got 10 megabits of upload or uh, 10,000 kilobits of upload, always leave a couple of meg, I'd say about two and a half, three megabits free uh to you for your for your upload speed so in my case i've got 10 megabits the maximum i will stream at is 7000 kilobits per second in terms of the bit rate i would also keep in mind that uh if your if your computer is slower um you might want to lower your bit rate as well uh to to increase the the general uh performance of your computer the higher the bit rate it might put more load on your cpu Generally, if you're using NV, uh, NVEC, which I'm using here, that shouldn't be an issue. But if you're still getting stutter after doing that networking setting, it's probably a graphical issue rather than uh, some, something else. So you probably just need to lower your bitrate or, or lower your graphics. But anyway, hopefully this video has helped those of you that, uh, that have fiddled with everything like I have for the last year or so and just didn't know about this network option. Um, I, I, you know, this literally tra has transformed uh, streaming with certain games that were, that were unplayable before whilst live streaming. Uh, Rocket League is another one, actually. CSGO and Rocket League particularly were sensitive to this. Um, but there you go. Hopefully, this video has been of use. Uh, just a little OBS quick tip. Uh, we might do some more OBS quick tips for those of you that, that asked for them. If you uh, found this useful, click the like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, and uh, just drink plenty of tea and have a good time. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.